Hello, and welcome to our Serenade video. In this video, we'll go over process steps. With process steps, you can itemize exact steps you take on a case, add a time frame for each step, and delegate it to a caseworker assigned to the case. This will help you and your staff accomplish finishing tasks for a case within your desired time frame. To access process steps, you must go into a case. Let us search for an already created case. From within the case profile, you will see the process steps tabs on the right and click on it. You are now in the area to create and work on process steps. You should see some default process steps here if you selected a case process when creating the case. If not, we will show you how to add process steps. Let us view our already created process steps and modify them. By clicking Modify Process Steps, we can now do things like set a start date, add a time frame if one hasn't been added, and assign a step to a caseworker. The first thing to do is assign a process step. To the right, you will see a drop down list of caseworkers. If clicked, it will list all caseworkers assigned to this case. You will go one by one assigning each step to an assigned caseworker. Once you've assigned steps, you can now focus on the time frame. You can dictate how long each step should take. Proceed to add time frames. Now that you've added those two things, you can now start your process steps by selecting a start date on the first step. If you added a time frame, you will notice that it will also list a target date. This is triggered by the checkbox up top that allows the software to auto calculate the target date. This target date is crucial for two things. One, if you have the auto email checkbox checked next to it, that caseworker will receive an email that morning notifying them about the process step. And two, process steps can be seen in your tickler. It will monitor those target dates and notify you about the approaching date. Once you or the respective caseworker has completed the task, they will come back here, mark it as complete, and once completed, you will notice it will proceed to set the start date for the next process step. Essentially, you and your staff will perform the process steps until completing all steps necessary for this case. When completing or changing a process step, make sure to click Save Changes up top. Now that we have seen how process steps can help you perform tasks, let us see how we can create process steps. The first option is creating them in the case you are working on. You will see a Add Process Step button. With this, you can create a single one or add a predefined list. Let us first focus on adding a single one. A pop-up will appear where you can enter a description. You have the options of adding a start date, target date, and so on, but are not necessary. And you can even assign to a caseworker from here. Once you've added your desired process step, you will finalize by clicking Save. Your process step has been created and will appear at the end of the list. If you wish to change its order, you can click on the up and down arrows or select the move grids to the left and move it to its new position. What we see here is manually creating process steps on the go, but what if you have a set list for the type of case you are doing? You can create default process steps in the admin tools and every time you select a type of case, your process steps will be listed. To modify this, Go to your admin tools by clicking on the gears icon on the top right and clicking on administrative tools. From the admin tools page, go to the case processes section. And once inside, locate the type of case you wish to modify. You will see the process steps icon and click on it. You are now in the area to create default process steps and will modify similarly to how you modified them in the case profile. Once you've customized your list here, the next time you create a case and select this case process, your process steps will be automatically listed. Additionally, if you are already working on a case and wish to import this list to that case, going back to process steps area, you will once again click on add process steps. This time, you can select add a predefined list. You will be asked to locate the case process and you will select the list you just modified in the admin tools. Once you select the case process and select add, the list will be imported to this case. This concludes our video on process steps.